Ooh. It's Saturday evening. It's been a long week. 6 p.m. It's November, December 7th. <sighs> Cheers, Fred. Oh, that was long overdue. Long overdue. We're going to do a quick rundown. In fact, it's about dark being inside the barn's the last place we should be right now. I really didn't have my things in order here, did I? Pretty sure you can tell. Yep. The screen makes it a lot lighter. The phone, excuse me. <coughs> First things first. <laughs> Those are some very uh, highfalutin snow machines, obviously, to make a sound like that. Uh, you know, with all the snow we got, of course, snow and billing is huge up here. I think I'm the only idiot that doesn't have one. Jesus. All right. Empty lot, folks. Empty lot. I need to do a little more doctoring around here. But uh, it's ready for some beef calves. Uh, see if I can jump over this. Jesus, dude. What they're doing is they're playing on the big hill, going up and down. I can only assume you can hear that. It's all good. Gotta have fun. Getting ready for some beef calves. Now, there's a great little handful that are going inside the barn. Um, some, some of the youngest ones, uh, the bull calves, and uh, some others. And the rest will be coming out here to this yard. Uh, they're not quite big enough. Some of them not by a long shot. <laughs> to uh, feed them in the stanchions. Therefore, uh, all those those years of raising Holstein steers, uh, bull calves, uh, set up for the super hutches and everything, I've got these, uh, these feed bunks. Um, yeah, they've proven to be worth their weight in gold. Of course, i got to clean them all out yet. It's been a long day. Uh, but, uh, yeah... Real quick, I should have started off with this with this video. <coughs> Folks, give me a hand here. Uh, join me in going over to uh, Mike P7810. YouTube channel name, Mike, the letter P7810, all one word. Uh, it's Michael Price. Uh, it's his birthday today. Uh, now, I, I'm going to admit I only know him uh, via social media between YouTube, a little bit of Facebook stuff, and all that other things. Uh, great guy, good family man, works as ever lit and been butt off. And of course, with YouTube, puts together some phenomenal, phenomenal YouTube videos. I can only hope that if you're catching my videos, it's after his. Mike P7810, go check him out. At the very least, please give him a comment in uh, wishing that good man a happy birthday. So, <coughs> Holstein heifers are gone. Uh, it went actually phenomenally well yesterday. Uh, a little too well, actually. I was waiting for something to happen. Uh, as it turns out, I, I failed in a few things with building those uh, uh, the gates and uh, everything else. Where I failed was is I didn't do a uh, I didn't do a dry run, and there was a couple little couple little nicks and knacks that were missing that uh, could have proved to play. Heck, uh, th thank God they didn't. But uh, everything went good. Uh, I took two trips with two trailers, and. Uh, yeah, I'll admit it, it's a little, you know, this was the first full day without them. I've been tending to them things for quite a long time here, seems like anyway. And 
Yeah, definitely not celebrating that they're gone, I can tell you that. Now, as far as feed goes, I am. Okay. This is the very flooded with snow corral system. Uh, I don't use this word very often, shame on me. We've got an absolute pure blessing coming tomorrow. We're getting a high of 39, which I only hope means that we're actually going to get a high of 41. The corral, as you've seen, is flooded. Flooded with snow, the gates, the fences. I will admit this is not the greatest handling facility. That is a fact. This is what we got, period. So, uh, in an effort to trample down a whole bunch of snow and everything else, um, tomorrow evening or Monday morning, after this uh, beautiful day we have tomorrow, there's going to be a couple bales of corn fodder put in selective areas in here to where the cattle, or using the cattle, to actually come on in here and trample down everything. And uh, I, I dare say level everything. But uh, yeah, an absolute blessing is coming tomorrow. Um, but then that's it. Uh, Monday's going to be a, a fair-ish day. Tuesday and Wednesday right now are both scheduled for negative 7. So the fun's all over after tomorrow. <laughs> Beef herds out here. I don't know if you can see them or not. They're doing real good. Um, uh, they ended up getting uh, mineral today. Uh, lots of things going on today. Lots of cleaning. Uh, spread manure, which spreading manure is out. Uh, I beat the ever-living heck out of the 6150M just trying to empty the manure spreader again. Games are over. Um, I, I have to leave tomorrow morning after chores. Uh, it's time, time for reality. I got a lot of things that have... Uh, I got a backlog of stuff. We'll, we'll leave it at that. Um, when I get back this week... I'm going to have to uh, clear off uh, a pretty sizable area for uh, piling up, stockpiling manure. There's just no choice in the matter. The snow is too deep out there. Guy's going to get himself in a lot of trouble. Uh, stockpiled sorghum. <coughs> uh, going through two sorghum bales a day. So what the hell we got here? We got about uh, seven and a half days worth of sorghum. Like I said, I did a full complete barn cleaning, spread the manure, stockpiled a whole bunch of straw, square bales of hay for inside the barn. Uh, basically got everything prepped and ready so that there's just a little limited, more limited work uh, while I'm gone. Because of course, if you don't know, um, I'm very, very lucky that uh, uh, dad takes over for me when I'm gone. Um, yeah, that's about the best way I can put it. Pretty stinking lucky. <coughs> it's been a beautiful day here today for the most part. Uh, she was a chilly son of a gun this morning, but uh, it shaped right up. Uh, stockpile of corn stalks, small stockpile of dry hay, which right now I'm only going through one bale a day. I'll explain my scenario. <coughs> Maybe when I get back this week, we'll go through a whole feeding program. Uh, <coughs> I ended up paying a king's ransom for uh, that kerosene. I had no choice. I had to go to Menard's. It's the price I pay for lacking a little bit. Um, there's one fill-up station, one, in town that actually carries kerosene at a somewhat reasonable rate. Um, I'm not even going to tell you what I paid for these jugs. It is what it is. It can't be helped. Like I said, we have uh, a couple days in a row of um, 
below zero temps and who knows uh, what what the wind is going to be of course wind chill that's that that's a big player but hey fred <sighs> kiwana brewing company and this is a uh, pickaxe ale got my fancy boots on today okay there's only two small head of cattle in here so what's all this talk about kerosene and diesel and all that stuff that's to run this guy right here this is the savior um, every morning early morning and then mid morning and then sometimes even the evening depending on the weather temperature uh, that thing is run it'll take this barn that currently will get down to about 30 35 degrees and warm it right up to about 50. it's a major major help uh, that thing will run all winter not unattended though um, i really need to think about that too with the future of the inside of this barn as far as a heat source because the days of having it all lined up with Holstein cows milking and the barn just naturally being very nice and warm and toasty because of body heat, that, that's gone, 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 gone. What will help is uh, putting a couple few head of cattle in each pen. One, two, three, four, four pens. Uh, the bull calves will be back here. Uh, a couple other ones that I have in mind. And then... Uh, this pen back here... <clears throat> uh, will probably house... Four or five of the smallest, scrawniest, youngest beef calves. There's nothing wrong with them. They're just young. Um, they need a little a bit of help, a little kickstart. Um, I don't dare put them out in the lot with the other calves that are uh, some some of them two to almost three times their size. So yeah, stockpile a little bit of square bales of hay, uh, some square bales of straw. I failed in putting a round bale up in the mow and throwing some down today. Uh, it's just been one thing after another in a good way. I'm going to have to suffer by using just, you know, more bales than what I really want to here. Uh, what, what are you going to do? Then, of course, these Holstein steers that are in what we call the lean-to. If you can see them. Holy crap, I can see the screen here and it doesn't look good. It's She's getting dark quick. Uh, they will be living in here all winter, and they will be uh, going to a spring sale, spring feeder sale of some sort. Uh, these these pigs, are they continue to be the biggest damn eaters I've ever seen in my entire life. That's about it, folks. Uh, just... Kind of giving you a little update of the madness that's been taking place here. It's been a hell of a hell of a week. It's she's been a little rough after that storm, you know, we received uh, Saturday going into all day Sunday. Uh, she was a little rough around here all week, swimming out of it, cleaning up, this, that, the other thing, the list goes on and on. But, got done. Everything's all right. So, just a little bit of an update. Failed you in a, any kind of a cool type video this week. I'll do my best to make up for it next week. Uh, one last time, a big happy birthday to Michael Price, Mike P7810 YouTube channel. Folks, for God's sakes, please head over there. At the very least... A happy birthday. I got to get going. We will talk to you sooner than later.